Hello everyone, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve another interesting integral, integral from 0 to 1, the square root of 1 plus x to the n over 1 minus x to the n dx for n greater than to 0. So, how to solve? Okay, first, uh, both uh, numerator and denominator, we have x to the n. So, uh, let's begin with the u substitution. So, if we take uh, x to the n is equal to t, uh, we know x is equal to t to the 1 over n power. Then, if we differentiate, we have dx is equal to 1 over n t to the 1 over n minus 1 dt. Okay, now uh, we should change the boundaries. Uh, we know uh, when x approaches to 0, t also approaches to 0, x approaches to 1, t also approaches to 1. So, we can plug in this integral is equal to integral from 0 to 1 square root of 1 plus now x then we know t so 1 plus t over 1 minus t then dx we know 1 over n times t to the 1 over n minus 1 dt 1 over n is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign so 1 over n integral from 0 to 1 now, if we multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 1 plus t, we know uh, in the numerator we have only of 1 plus t. Uh, here we have uh, t to the 1 over n minus 1 over. Now, in the denominator we have square root of 1 minus t. Also, uh, we multiply by square root of 1 plus t. So, we know difference of 2 squared. So, we have square root of 1 minus t square here dt. Okay, then uh, now we can multiply 1 plus t uh, by t to the 1 over n minus 1. At the same time, uh, we can split this integral into two different integrals. So, we have uh, here 1 over n, uh, then 1 times. 1 times t to the 1 over n minus 1. So, we have integral from 0 to 1 t to the 1 over n minus 1 over square root of 1 minus t square dt plus then again 1 over n integral from 0 to 1. Now, t times t to the 1 over n minus 1. So, we know 1 get cancelled. So, t to the 1 over n over the square root of 1 minus t square dt. Okay, then uh, here now we have two integrals. So, um, for both integrals, now I am going to uh, take uh, again u substitution. Here we have uh, t square, here t square. So, I am going to convert this integral uh, into uh, beta function because uh, here in the denominator we have a square root uh, and also uh, in the numerator we have t to the uh, some power so if we take t square is equal to u then uh, we can differentiate 2 times t dt is equal to du now we know uh, limit also uh, 0 to 1 so we can write our integrals uh, is equal integrals are equal to here uh, 1 over n integral from 0 to 1 now here t uh, t we know if we isolate the t uh, we have t is equal to u to the 1 half so here we have u to the 1 over 2n minus 1 half over square root of 1 minus u times dt we know du over here dt du over 2 times t t we know u to the 1 half then here again for this integral integral from 0 to 1 t again we know u to the 1 half so u to the 1 over 2n over square root of 1 minus u times now dt we know again du over 2 times u to the 1 half okay let us simplify uh, now 
here uh, 2 we know constant so we have 1 over 2 times n integral from 0 to 1 now here in the numerator u to the 1 over 2 n minus 1 half here u to the 1 half so we can uh, simplify we have u to the 1 over 2 times n uh, minus 1 half minus 1 half we know minus 1 then this square root of 1 minus u we can write 1 minus u uh, raised to the minus 1 half power uh, times du then uh, this integral uh, we know 2 again constant so 1 over 2 times n integral from 0 to 1 now here u to the 1 over 2n u to the 1 half so we can simplify u to the 1 over 2n minus 1 half times 1 minus u raised to the minus 1 half power du okay then uh, i am going to rearrange the powers uh, like uh, here 1 over 2 times n integral from 0 to 1 uh, now here u to the 1 over 2n minus 1 times here 1 minus u to the minus 1 half we can write 1 half minus 1 du plus 1 over 2 times n integral from 0 to 1 now here we have u to the 1 over 2n uh, here i am going to write uh, instead of minus 1 half uh, plus 1 half minus 1 uh, times 1 minus u to the uh, minus 1 half we can write 1 half minus 1 du so we change the powers uh, because we are going to apply beta function so we know the definition of uh, beta function beta of x y is equal to integral from 0 to 1 u to the x minus 1 times 1 minus u to the y minus 1 du therefore uh, our integrals uh, we can convert into beta function so we can write now 1 over 2 times n uh, we know 1 over 2 times n 1 over 2 times n is a common factor so 1 over 2 times n now uh, for this integral we know uh, we can apply uh, beta function x we know 1 over 2 n and y we know 1 half so we can write this is equal to beta of 1 over 2 n comma 1 half then here uh, plus beta of here x we know 1 over 2 n plus 1 half so 1 over 2 n plus 1 half comma uh, here again we have 1 half okay now uh, we have beta function uh, now we know uh, the relation between beta function and gamma function beta of beta of m n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write here 1 over 2 times n then uh, beta function so we can write gamma of 1 over 2 n times gamma of 1 half over gamma of m plus n we know 1 over 2 n plus 1 half plus uh, here we know gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half gamma of 1 half over gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half plus 1 half well uh, now we can simplify so uh, to simplify this uh, we can take the common denominator so uh, if we take common denominator we know gamma of one half is a common factor and we know gamma of one half is equal to square root of pi so we can write here the square root of pi over two times n now in the denominator we have gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 half times gamma of 
1 over 2 in uh, 1 half plus 1 half we know 1 so here 1 then uh, in the numerator we have here uh, gamma of 1 over 2 n also we should multiply by gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 then here uh, we have uh, gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half here again gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half so we have gamma square of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half okay then uh, here we have in the numerator uh, gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 uh, 2n plus 1 okay uh, so we know the relation of a gamma function we know gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n so if we take uh, gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 we know now this is equal to 1 over 2n times gamma of 1 over 2n. So we can write the square root of pi over 2 times n. Uh, then <coughs> here we have gamma of 1 over 2n. Uh, gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1. We know 1 over 2n. So 1 over 2n gamma of 1 over 2n here also gamma of 1 over 2n so we have gamma square of 1 over 2n plus uh, then here gamma square of 1 over 2n plus 1 half over uh, now here gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 half in the denominator we have gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 half so let's call the uh, legendary duplication formula of gamma function we know gamma of m times gamma of m plus 1 half is equal to the square root of pi uh, times gamma of 2 times m over 2 raised to the 2m minus 1 this is we know the general duplication formula of gamma function so we proved this identity in the previous video so if you like to watch that video i will add the link in the description and also make a card so now uh, we can plug in uh, here we have gamma of 1 over 2 n plus 1 half so now instead of m we should plug in uh, 1 over 2 n instead of m we should plug in 1 over 2 n and we can isolate this part so we have uh, square root of pi square root of pi uh, times gamma of gamma of uh, here uh, 2 times m uh, so we know 2 get cancelled 1 over n gamma of 1 over n uh, then over so i'm going to multiply uh, here uh, now we have 2 to the 2 to the uh, 2m minus 1 so 2 get cancelled 1 over n minus 1 times uh, here we have gamma of m so gamma of 1 over 2n so gamma of 1 over 2n uh, then uh, here we have gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 so we know gamma of 1 over 2n plus 1 is equal to 1 over 2n 1 over 2n times gamma of 1 over 2n okay now uh, we can simplify so uh, we know square root of pi uh, get cancelled uh, 2n this 2n again uh, get cancelled gamma of 1 over 2n gamma of 1 over 2n get cancelled so we have 1 over 2n times gamma square of 1 over 2n plus gamma square of 1 over 2 n uh, plus 1 half over now here we have gamma of 1 over n times uh, this part we can write uh, 2 raised to the 1 minus 1 over n okay this is the generalized answer for this integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching